Hi students, today's topic is variables. You know that when you learn a language, the main priority is the variables. Because variable temporarily hold the data. We know that we can permanently store the data on memory, human memory. But in a system, if I want to store the data, I have the requirement of the variable. Now the first variable which is very popular that is called as the local variable. Here you see that is local variable. Now what is the meaning of local variable and what is the constraint that is available in case of Java, in case of local variable. When we started any programming language, local variable play an important role. But see, local variables are declared inside the method or inside the constructor or inside the block. For example, I have to declare the class. You know that Java is a pure object oriented language and in case of Java, that is the, whatever the variables we declared, whatever the methods we defined, everything is defined within a block or within the class. Now see, I have a class, I declare the class public, that is class, that is test, test is the class. Now see, that is the body of the class. Now, where I declare the local variable and what is the constraint that is available in case of local variables. Now see, you know that constructor name must be same as class name, see. Now, this is called as word uh, constructor. Because my class name is test, uh, the constructor name is test. Inside the constructor, if I declare a variable, that is called as local variable in Java. Now, this is called as local variable. And what is the lifetime of the local variable? It is uh, declared within the constructor and assessed within the constructor. I can assess this variable within the constructor. I can't invoke it outside the constructor. If I want to write here A++, fine. I have to use the increment operator. I increase the value of A. But whatever I did, I did it inside word, inside the constructor. The next, I want to print the value of, that is A. What I can do here? Now, check what I write here, I just write here, that is system dot out dot print a line. Here you see, I write what is the value of A. That is local for what? This is local for the constructor. See, so Java tell that you can declare a local variable within a constructor. That is local. Now, where you declare the local variable? I can show you. Take an example, I just another time write uh, public, that is class test, test is the class, fine. Inside the class I declared void fun. You see, that is a function or that is a method. In Java it is called as method. In C, C++ it is called as function. Now, when I move to the advanced area, I give you some fundamental ideas. Uh, who is called as function? Who is called as method? Because uh, in the interview, sometimes you face this type of question. Now, you see, inside the method, I declare int x. Now, what I did here, x is word. It's a local variable. Now, x is a local variable for the fun function or fun method, but it is not initialized. I am not assigning any value to x. Now, I write here x is equal to 15. Then I just write here x plus equal 5. Now it is 15. I add 5 within it, then it is 20. Then after that, what I can do here? I just write a system dot out dot print a line. Here you see, I print the value of x. So this is what, uh, this is called as uh, local variable. See, 
As a programmer, I can declare the local variable within the method and within the constructor. So this concept in Java is called as word, local variable. But remember, local variable having two constraint in case of Java, or there is two restriction of local variables. What are the restrictions are there? First, as a beginner, you must understand what is the restriction that is applied in case of a local variable in case of Java. Remember, in case of Java, there are two constraints are there. The first constraint is local variables are bound to be initialized. As a programmer, I am bound to initialize the local variable. If I am not initialized the local variable before I use it, it is generate error. What it means? The first restriction is what? Local variables. Here you see. Local variables are that is bound to be initialized. Here you see. Bound to be that is initialized. What is the meaning of that? Bound to be initialized. What is the meaning of that? Meaning of that is what I just elaborate. I have a class. Fine. Class test. Test is a class. Fine. Good. Now, what it tells? I already covered the constructor name must be same as word. That is class name. It is the constructor. Now, within the constructor, what I did? I just write here. That is int x. Or int x1 int is the data type x1 is word x1 is the variable but here you see i'm not initialize x1 if i write here x1 plus plus it's a error it directly generate word error why it generate error because java tell that local variables are bound to be initialized if it is not initialized in case of Java, it directly generates word compile time error. Before I use local variable, here I declare local variable, it's not an error. But when I use x1 plus plus, I, I want to increase the value of the local variable, but yet the local variables are not initialized. If it is not initialized, it directly generates word compile time error clear this is the concept of word local variable now the second restriction this is the first restriction i show you you please uh, implement it now i move to the second variable or second restriction of local variable what is the second restriction the second restriction is local variable always declared by only one as a specifier that is default in case of Java, who is the default access specifier? No access is the default access specifier. So, as a programmer, I can declare a local variable always by default access specifier. I can't declare it by public. I can't declare it by private. I can't declare it by protected. See, what I can do here, that is second restriction is word local variable that is the local variable is declared through fine sorry local variable declared through here you see local variable declared through which key that is word uh, through which as a specifier default as a specifier default as a that is a specifier you try to understand uh, who is the default access specifier in Java? In case of Java, the default access specifier is word. No access. For example, I declare the class here, public, that is class, that is test. Test is the class. I am just doing the same job. I am declaring the class name is test. Now, what I can use here, take an example, void, that is call. Call is a method. Yeah, you see. Now, I write here, int a is equal to 5. That is a system. Yeah, you see. That out dot print a line. Yeah, you see. What I want to print here, what is the value of a? 
just to do one thing you never declare the local variable by private protected and public if you did that it generates word compile time error so remember there are two constants are there in case of local variable this is the one of the important variable in case of any programming language also in case of java also so what actually java tell there are two constants of local variable local variables are bound to be initialized before it is used second one is uh, local variable always declared through which as a specifier that is default in case of uh, java who is the default as a specifier that is no access thank you that is uh, the first video i just explain about uh, local variable in my second video i must elaborate the second variable that is the uh, instance variable thank you